a blessing and a privilege to be here in this, this great big room with that nice pretty view over there. Uh, I'm Sean Reed. I'm with Black Gloves Promotions. And we're here to promote, as Mr. Carraway was saying, our card at the uh, Dallas Convention Center, the home of boxing here in Dallas. It's going to be March 27th, again at the Convention Center. And uh, what we're doing, we're bringing Las Vegas-style boxing to Dallas. On that note, we're going to have a casino night. We're going to be uh, encouraging any and all local celebrities to come out and check us out. So uh, let me give you a little bit of the history. The uh, Black Gloves is also not just the name of our promotion, but it's also the name of an amateur tournament started by Greg Hatley uh, about a decade ago. The Black Gloves became known for top-notch boxing, also a family environment. They uh, incorporated bounce houses, barbecues, cookouts, raffles, you know, you name it, but mainly top-notch boxing. So uh, on that note, Black Gloves Promotions is taking it to the professional level. We're uh, going to have a more adult approach to the mix. So uh, it's going to be very fun. Bring your kids out. But also, if you want to gamble, you can do that. Meet some celebrities, sit in the VIP section. Real quickly, we have some uh, important dates to make you aware of. On Thursday, March 26th, we're going to have a weigh-in we're still working out the details of the location. Uh, let's see, Friday, March 27th is the day of the fight. Now, we're going to have a VIP reception and meet and greet beginning at 5.30. If you're VIP, we'll have the red carpet rolled out for you. Uh, that's also at 5.30. Casino night begins at 6. Then the fights begin at 7 p.m. with the main event tentatively scheduled for 9.30 or so. If you're wanting to get media credentials, uh, we will email the forms on Tuesday, and they will be issued at the event entrance beginning at 3 p.m. on the day of the fight. For tickets, they're on sale now at all Ticketmaster outlets and retail locations, including the Black Academy of Arts and Letters down the street, Fiesta Food Stores, and Macy's, as well as uh, Ticketmaster.com, or by phone, at 1-800-745-3000. Now, this time, let me turn it over to one of the chief principals of Black Gloves Promotions, Mr. John Evans. Thank you, Reed, and Councilman, thank you for your presence and for your support. We're excited um, about where Black Gloves Promotions is going. Um, we've got a plan, and we're going to try to work this plan. We think that we can do something very special in the city that not only translates into a great amount of fun and sport, but also translates into economic development. And that's where we're going with this. That's what we're trying to do. We have some credos that I just wanted to tell you about as far as Black Gloves is concerned. Uh, we started this company out with a vision, and we translated that into a strategy. Our vision is this. We want to establish a company, and we want that company to operate with integrity, period. Uh, boxing's image, nationally, as you know, is probably not all it should be. But we want to change that. Uh, and so we will establish a company that operates with total integrity to the best of our ability. Uh, in addition to that, we have a credo that says the boxers come first. Uh, we believe that if we take care of the boxers, that the boxers will take care of black gloves. And so the, bo the boxers come first. We want to make sure that they are well paid, that they are well trained, that they are well supported. And even uh, from the very beginning, we want to make sure that our boxers understand a high level of financial literacy we have a goal that every boxer that's in Black Gloves Promotion Stable will retire with pension plans. Uh, as you may or may not know, many of the, much of the history of boxing is that boxers fight until their late 30s, maybe early 40s, and many of them retire broke and destitute. Even um, some well-known that was mentioned today 
have found themselves in a position where they had to file bankruptcy at a late age after earning several hundreds of millions of dollars. We don't want that to happen with any of our boxers. We want them to retire with pension plans. We're going to invest in their education as it relates to that level of financial literacy. Uh, another goal that we have is that every show uh, will be done with excellence, and we're trying to do that extremely hard. And sometimes that's hard to do, to work with all of the various parties, but we want to make sure at the end of the day, on March 27th, that this show is done with excellence.